the visually impaired without a white cane or walking aid need able people to help them move around. However, COVID-19 precautionary measures such as adhering to social distancing and among others makes it difficult for them to do so. Julius Amegavi and John Sule Bukari are two physically challenged friends. They are workers at Ability Bias Cooperative in Koferidia, a company run by an all physically challenged staff. The company refurbishes bicycles, wheelchairs and other walking aids. According to Julius and Sule, business has not been easy. Business is the 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 I'm <laughs> Felicity Amponchere is the chairperson for the Federation of People Living with Disability in New Jabin. With little or no money to buy personal protective equipment and food items, she tells me how they have been coping. This is a situation whereby you say if you don't have any business dream, you don't go to town. So you are at home. Hunger will kill you before COVID comes to kill you. So we are pleading with the government to come to our support. We beg the, the not even the government alone, philanthropics, well meaning Ghanaians, people who are well to do, a little that they can their, their widows might, each of them should give us their widows might and we will appreciate it. It will go a long way to help our members. Similar challenges confront persons with disability in the Lower Manyakroba municipality. Life has been very difficult from getting access to relevant information on COVID-19, personal protective equipment, and even food. Eunice Kolikwo is the regional coordinator for the Ghana Blind Union, and she laments how getting access to relevant information on COVID-19 is a big challenge. The as we all know, since when the even uh, the COVID-19 is not there, even as the COVID-19 is there, but they are stigmatizing people who have been attacked. And the same thing that we are going to people with this disability. But we are still managing. And uh, we know it's not the will of God, and it's not our will that we should become disabled. But sometimes it's a misfortune or it's by mistake that someone will be disabled. So we are, we are talking with the system. And uh, not all of us are working. Few of us are doing government work. In an interview with Sydney News during the presentation of PPE, and other food items to PWDs and widows in the Lower Manya Krobo municipality, the Deputy Eastern Regional Minister Samuan Rete Aite said public education targeted at PWDs will be intensified going forward. But I'm, I'm, I'm also aware that by now, through the, the, the general educational process, most of them are aware of the whole uh, disease that is in the, the country, in the world as a whole. You can see that all of them are in mask and so they are really uh, uh, prepared that uh, they protect themselves. But we have to do continuous education so that at least everybody will know what is going on and on day by day cases. So we are doing well.